Hi everyone. I came to talk to you about trust so that you could become the best person that you know how to become. As you learn more, you'll become more. Trust that this day will not be ordinary. Not the same old blah blah black and white experience. Trust your skills of confidence. Trust who you believe yourself to be and become more. Challenge yourself to become more so that your day is not ordinary. And as your day loses being ordinary and feeling ordinary, you also lose being ordinary. You become better, you become greater. You are in control of your own boat. Take control of changing where you go and changing what you see. If you walked by a jewelry store and you saw beautiful jewelry you would think to yourself instantly, well, look at that beautiful bracelet. It would look beautiful on my wrist. Or look at those beautiful earrings. I wish I owned those earrings. Well, the same is with other things in your life and you can aspire to great things and motivate yourself to achieve your dreams by just thinking more and more about those dreams and as you focus more on what you want you know more about what you don't want and that's clarity and clarity is the best thing to possess in your lifetime you own the freedom to choose in your thoughts and your actions add more color add more scenery to your day, to the experience of what you feel throughout the day. If you feel stuck in a rut financially or emotionally, you can't dream of boundless possibilities. It's impossible. And though you can dream the impossible dream, as that beautiful song, you know, has, you know, been sung for decades and it's beautiful and it it has a lot of meaning and you can have a lot of meaning even though right now certain things seem out of your reach but they don't have to be they don't have to be out of your reach you can help yourself financially and you can help yourself emotionally if there are things that are holding you back as far as attitude well you have the power to change that if there are things holding you back emotionally sometimes you have to just say well the hell with it and let those people go or let those things in my life go or even if it's your own attitudes you can let those attitudes go just say bye bye not today It's like eating for weeks and never going to the toilet. Imagine that. You'd get pretty sick, right? You need the relief in order to know the difference. So you're going from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum and there's a lot of tense feeling in between because the margin is so wide between the two what I don't want and what I do want and you have to be able to really feel that discomfort so that you really really know you know I really don't want that particular thing but I aspire to look up and reach that challenge and you know climb that ladder and do the work that it takes to 
make my life better because by knowing the two different extremes you know the difference and that's what you want to know you want to feel it because it's a relief um, to um, to live better than uh, perhaps what you're not living right now this is called contrast and contrast is like money it's a damn good relief you must know and feel the discomfort so that you know the difference in my situation I came from poverty and now I live in um, a very expensive home and um, I had to make some real severe changes I had to get rid of a lot of people uh, that were really always constantly bringing me down and I knew that they were not good for me uh, but I didn't really know how to get rid of them and truthfully it, it just takes one word and that's goodbye you know just goodbye um, you have to um, set your priorities and really your first priority is yourself you must learn to love yourself if uh, you came from um, a, uh, a background that was uh, deficient uh, as far as uh, good role models in your family well guess what now as you're an adult you have to uh, be your own parent and you have to make up for all that loss of uh, knowledge and emotional care and self-love that you didn't have as a child and you have to love yourself and there's nothing wrong with that and it's not selfish and you don't have to feel guilty it's actually the right thing to do you must take care of yourself because you will love yourself so much more allowing yourself to see and know both sides what you like and what you don't like allows you to know what you like and what you don't like you need to know the difference you need clarity uh, and then from there having clarity uh, which is a very valuable uh, commodity and um, uh, um, value in a person uh, it's a very high quality then you can start you can begin to create your own reality and uh, all you have to do is dream it and make it happen and you, then you'll be living it but in between there's a lot of changes that uh, need to occur and if you're ready to make the changes then you will be ready to move forward and things will uh, happen for you and as you stay in that forward momentum the longer you stay there the healthier your brain becomes but if you hang around toxic people and toxic environments it's just going to put you back to square one and back to square one and over and over and over and you never get ahead so you have to be willing to uh, let go of certain things and in my case I said hey I'm willing to let go of it all and I did I let go of everything um, and I just started over from scratch forget all the old crap for myself I said forget all the old crap that I've known all my life I want what is new I want what is better I want what gives me new feelings and new desires it's not just about having uh, a new home or uh, a new car it's about having new feelings it's about having new attitudes and having newer desires everything changes your whole personality your attitude your perspective on life your lifestyle everything changes drive down I'm suggesting this drive down a street where affluent people live where they live 24 7 and then go home to your place and feel the difference do you want to continue living where you live or do you want to uh, live in a better situation 
for myself, I was living in a home that I had inherited. And so it was from 1945. It was in a very, very uh, nice location next to a lake, a swimming pool, a gym, a dance studio. Um, and these were all public facilities uh, afforded to us by the city. So uh, it was a very, very nice location. But the house was falling apart. It was 1945 and it was going to take an awful lot of money to uh, invest and fix it up. So I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to look at it as an asset and sell it and get rid of it. And so I just said, let it all go. And I did and I started over. But I knew, I knew, and, and I live, you know, four times better than, um, you know, what I was living previously. I live a whole lot better now. That difference that you feel when you see where you are and where you want to be, that raw gut feeling is contrast. And you want to hold on to that because that continues to help you understand uh, and know uh, what you like and what you don't like and that's clarity and clarity is like uh, the cherry on top of the ice cream it really makes you know that's the perfect picture that's the perfect ice cream that's the ice cream I want I want the ice cream with the cherry on top we all want a better life what is it going to take for you to become that person who lives a life that can now only dream of? I said before, we do have to go through many changes and you have to be willing to change. So um, think about this. Be willing to uh, look at your life, examine it. Take out the things that don't serve you and hold on tight to the things that you can build on. And we all need a foundation. So we all need those core values because without those core values, we will uh, make friends with people that are too different than us and they don't have the same values. And then we lose our way again and we're back at square one. So we want to hang around people that have achieved more than ourselves and that lifts us up. And that's an easy way to gain energy and momentum. It will take change. Dreams do come true. Someone dreamed, as you can see in this photo, someone dreamed to see photos in color, to know a new perspective. And um, it just takes, you know, one thought to change things forever. Their curiosity, their dream to see the world in color has changed billions of people forever. Now people can take photographs and they have photographs in color. And then they can really remember, well, this is what mom and dad look like, or this is what my girlfriend or boyfriend look like, and this is what this city looked like, and it was beautiful and I remember it, and it's a wonderful feeling, you know, to remember it. And uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of momentum. That's a lot of emotion that uh, benefits us. I call this blue sky thinking where you're really reaching into the expanse of big dreams. So I challenge you to dream big, dream so big that <laughs> it's scary. Uh, and then you have the blue ocean and blue oceans are vast. And when you look at them, they're just a great expanse moving back and forth. Uh, beautiful. It's beautiful to watch them. And, and we know the strength of water. It's very, very strong. And, um, but the vastness of it, um, we, um, we feel that even inside ourselves, uh, that it's it's big. It's just bigger than ourselves. And so when uh, you see something vast like that, whether it's an ocean or a meadow or a prairie or even a big city, um, they're there uh, and it will benefit you to look at it in this perspective that it's big so that everyone will dream big. And so when you follow that and dream big, then you have uh, a lot to look forward to. 
So set your sails for a great adventure because it's a journey when you dream big and you see things unfolding in front of you uh, and you feel that joy repeatedly as you see things happen and you're, you know, in synchronicity to watching and observing things, you know, unfold for you because it doesn't happen, you know, everything dropped in your lap. It happens slowly. And uh, but go ahead and set your sails for a great adventure because the wind will come. So until next time, have a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world. And uh, and I'll see you next time. It was wonderful being here again. Um, I've been very busy. I've um, uh, I'm going back to school. I'm going to get certified and start a new job, even though I'm retired I'll be coming out of retirement and uh, and I'm excited for that it's all about uh, dreaming big and making things happen it doesn't matter what age you are don't think of your age think of your dream until next time bye bye